Hello, this is Andrew Ford with Photo Focus, and today we're going to use Adobe Audition to do some noise reduction in a clip. I have recorded myself saying a line of audio standing right next to a dryer in the laundry room. This is an extreme example, but let's see how it sounds. I am recording this audio while standing next to a dryer. I am recording this audio while standing next to a dryer. Now normally this effect would be used for removing some minor background noise such as a little faint air conditioning hum or something like that. This is an extreme example. The first thing you will do is highlight an area that just has the noise you're looking to remove. We're going to capture this noise profile. We go to effect, noise reduction, capture noise print. And now it extracted a noise profile from this range. Next, we're going to highlight the part of the clip that we want to apply noise reduction to. In this case, it would be the entire clip. And then we will go to effects, noise reduction, and then noise reduction process. And this will bring up the effect. There are several things to note here. The red part of the graph shows your low amplitude noise. The yellow part of the graph, which right now is hidden by the green, shows your high amplitude noise. And the green is the threshold. This moves when you adjust the noise reduction property. Anything below this threshold is where the noise reduction will occur. So your goal here is to play around with this and find the sweet spot between removing as much noise as possible and not removing anything else, like clipping some of my voice. Let's try it at 60. I am recording this audio while standing next to a dryer. By default, that's not too bad. If you move it to 100, which is hardly ever recommended, let's see how it sounds. I am recording this audio while standing next to a dryer. You can definitely see that this is uh, removing some of my vocal tones, so we wouldn't want that. That is too much. Let's try 40%. I am recording this audio while standing next to a dryer. Well, that's not doing as much as we'd like. Also, if you check the output noise only box, you will hear only the audio that is being removed. You can hear my voice faintly in there being removed, but as long as it's not too much, it should be okay. Always uncheck that box when you're done, otherwise you will output just the noise. Let's run it at 60%. I am recording this audio while standing next to a dryer. I think that sounds pretty good considering I was standing right next to a dryer. Under the advanced tab, you have a few options. The first is spectral decay rate. This is basically the percentage of frequencies that are processed when audio falls below the noise floor. You can play with this percentage to get greater noise reduction, but Adobe does recommend a value between 40 and 75%. Smoothing is the variance in noise signal. According to Adobe, moving this amount up reduces the, what they call, verbally background artifacts. I am recording. You know, sounds about the same to me, but maybe it's a little better. Precision factor controls changes in amplitude. Again, Adobe suggests values between five and 10 are best, especially odd numbers if you want symmetrical processing. And so if we're happy with that, we will hit the apply button. And when we hit the apply button, you can see that the areas of dryer noise are greatly reduced. Look right here, it's practically nothing. And at the front, it's still there a little bit. It's much less, but the good thing about being at the front is we can just clip that out completely. We don't need it. I mean, there might be a little bit over here still, but basically we applied noise reduction in an extreme case of recording audio right by a dryer. I am recording this audio while standing next to a dryer. And we're getting very good results. I am recording this audio while standing next to a dryer. So I hope this helps show you what the noise reduction effect in Adobe Edition can do. Thank you.